Greek lawmakers on Thursday approved the bill with an overwhelming majority to give the go-ahead to the debt deal. While the reforms are extremely unpopular with the Greek people, trade unions and opposition parties organized anti-austerity protests before the Greek Parliament on Wednesday. The protests turned violent after dozens of anti-establishment young people started pounding rocks and fire bombs against the police. The police responded by firing tear gas to disperse the crowds. No injuries have been reported, but around 40 persons have been arrested due to the clashes. Protesters see the austerity bill as a betrayal of the result of the Greek referendum earlier this month. The new measures, and that's the way that the people in, the, in their vast majority voted for knowing the referendum last week, are going to, to put a stop. It's completely unacceptable for, uh, for us to see a, a leftist government voting for this kind of measures. It's going to, to not allow strikes to, to take place anymore. It's going to, to open the, the way for mass uh, polices. <laughs> We are here with all the organizations of the left, even with the young and union faction of Syriza, to stop the third memorandum. We think this is a disaster. We expect employees not to accept these new measures, social security and relief measures for the unemployed, and all our colleagues today are in trouble. Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras and his Syriza party had rallied against the harsh reforms for months. But as the country teetered on the brink of bankruptcy, Tsipras was left with no choice but to accept the conditions set by international creditors for a third bailout. The heavily indebted country desperately needs a fresh bailout, which is worth as much as 96 billion US dollars. The money means the country can avoid bankruptcy and a Greek exit from the euro.